Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a ManyChat Messenger bot. So let's get started straight away. Um, here we've got a post that I've posted here and it's going to promote a live show that I'm doing this afternoon. So what's going to happen is you can see here um, everyone wanted to build an, an audience of engaged people without using traditional list building models. On Friday in our weekly live show we'll be looking at multiple alternative methods to building a list. Want a reminder to go live, just make a comment below and we'll send a reminder when we go live. So we can see here people have commented down below, which is great. Okay, so what happens when they comment? Well, let's go and have a look at ManyChat. So this is the growth tools and you can see here, um, this is the post. So what I've done, I've selected the post in settings. Um, I've, I've left off track first level comments only. Okay, um, sometimes it makes sense to actually turn that on, but for this, it doesn't matter. So when a, a user leaves a comment, send a message immediately, and that's it. So as soon as anybody comments anything, which is why I asked them to comment below, what happens is it starts off this messenger bot. So the first response that will come is, hey, first name, you're gonna love these alternative list building techniques. Reply to this message with the word out, and I'll send you a link to a live call, which is happening on Friday, and a reminder before we go live. And they just explained why we've had to do this. And the reason, the reason is, um, it's basically Facebook want people to double opt in so you can't spam them. So I've just explained that. It just stops people uh, getting pissed off a little bit when they jump through hoops. And then finally, after they add out, we can see here, uh, enter keywords out. So when anyone enters any of those keywords, okay, send only to users who reply to a keyword and that keyword is out, fine we send them this opt-in message. Uh, welcome, thank you for requesting the details of the live show. The button below will take you to the scheduled live call, which will show you when we will be live uh, in your local time. We'll remind you before we go live, if you can't be there, use the post to ask questions, which we'll answer. See you Friday. P.S. if you want to unsubscribe, just type stop. Always leave this in on the first message that you send them. So they click here for the reminder. It takes them to um, the actual live show where they can click reminder. But that doesn't matter because what's happened is we've actually clicked, collected them on a list. So uh, half an hour before we go live, I will send a new message out to them saying, um, we're going live in 30 minutes, click here. Or actually, probably, I'll probably send it 10 minutes before we go. I'll set it up half an hour before, but 10 minutes before we go, I'll just send it out and say, we're going live in 10 minutes, click here. And I'll also give them a link to where the replay will be, uh, just in case they can't make it there. So that's it. So why don't we set, set one up very, very quickly? So we're going to go to growth tools. Okay, new growth tools. And I'm going to do Facebook comments again. There's lots of things you can do here. So if you've got a blog, you can use bars and slide ins and page takeovers, etc. So that's like a welcome mat. That's just like a hello bar. Um, that's like a pop in. And that's like a sliding. Okay. Um, we've got landing pages, we've got messenger ref URLs. You've got Facebook as messengers code. Facebook comments is what I prefer to do and it's what most people prefer to do. So we're gonna click on Facebook comments. Okay, we can select a post. It will come up, so there is our plan B. Here are other ones here. Um, so let's just set this one up again. So that is our post. When someone clicks on it, immediate, okay. Whenever you set something up on one of the, each section, please save it. Um, or else you end up having to go back and do it twice if you need to do something different. Right, so the auto response, hey, um, so full name, we can click on that and we can change it to um, first name and the fallback is there. So it will either say, hey John, or hey there. Uh, and then we got to just put a bit of text here. Thanks for your interest. Um, We need to confirm that you really want our free report. Oh, sorry, my, my timing's terrible. People think I can't spell. It's not, I can't type. Um, we go, really want our free report. Okay, so that's that. Please type um, yes in the comments. Um, FB 
just put the, the message in the bottom there why you're asking people to sort of double opt in. Okay, so that is that. Once again, remember to save. And then we come here and this is the opt-in action. So once they enter, yes, what are you gonna do? Okay, um, so we're gonna do send only the people who reply with a keyword and enter the keyword and the keyword is yes. I always go yes, yes. I don't actually think that's required, but it's built in braces. I always like to be uh, okay. So if you want a sequence, you can actually set up a sequence where you'll get a message that will go out every day over four or five days. Okay, so just like an email sequence. Uh, we're not gonna do that here. So if someone types yes, what we're we gonna do, we can save this. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna edit the message. So we've saved it, yeah, so we're gonna edit the message. And it's simply this. Welcome first name, thank you for subscribing. Um, we're gonna say, to get your free report. Click the button below, we can add button. Um, and we've got choice of what we can do. Reply with message, open website, call phone number. So we're going to open the mess, open uh, website, enter the URL. Okay, and we can, if we want, we can tag them. I'm not going to bother tagging them in this, but as you can see, you can add a tag, you can subscribe to a sequence, you can open a conversation, you can notify the admins, you can set subscriber fields, all, lots of stuff you can do there. Uh, normally what I'll do is actually I will add a tag. Um, requested report. And that's created a new tag. So that is... Get your report. Okay, so you can have a message here and that's it. Then when they click on here, uh, we will get a report. So this message has been sent to me and we can see here, you can hear it coming in. So there we go, we would click here and we go to whichever page I've put in, assuming that the page was correct and we won't 404. But don't worry, because I just um, that was just a very quick thing I did there, so it's probably wrong. Right, so that is it. And then what we do is just click publish, and uh, that would be it. So that's it. That's that is how you set up your growth tools. Let me just uh, delete that before. I hope you found that useful. Any questions? Please ask in the questions below in the area below, or come along to the Facebook group or the Facebook page and check out some of our live shows and also uh, come and join the conversation within the group. Thank you. Bye.